If you're a guy and you're looking for a quick and easy, relatively affordable skincare routine, then we're gonna show you what he does in the morning and in the evening. He does have a weekly treatment because I put him on it. So we're also gonna show that to you. It's nighttime now. What he's gonna do is he's gonna use a cleanser in the shower. This is the one that we bought here in Germany at the drugstore. It's a foaming cleanser. This is for a normal and combination skin. He has combination skin because he does get generally oily here in the T-zone and he's a little dry in the cheeks area. But the cleanser that we both love is a CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin. It's gentle and it's affordable. I'll leave everything linked in the description box. I believe German apotheker is sold this thing. Is that how you pronounce it? Apotheker? So this whole time I was saying apotheker? Well, I mean... <laughs> Sorry. I always just say it in German. I just didn't know how to say it. <coughs> I said it correctly. He's gonna get into the shower and cleanse first. He uses his cleanser with this Foreo. He also uses the CeraVe one with this. This is just a cleansing device if you didn't know. They do make one for men as well, but I had a leftover one because I lost a charger to it, so I bought another one for myself. But anyways, he loves this. You don't have to use one of these. Your hands are perfectly fine, but if you would like to get a little bit of a deeper cleanse, if perhaps you have more congested skin, I would definitely recommend picking one of these up. I have a video explaining what a Foreo is, and I compare it to a Clarisonic device. So I will link that video in the description box or you can catch it in a card right here. Every Wednesday and Saturday, just like my skincare routine, which by the way, I have a video on my skincare routine. I'll leave it in the description box or you can catch it in one of these cards. On those days, he does a scrub and a mask. This is a scrub that we've been using. This is the Garnier Skin Active Deep Pore Exfoliating Scrub. This isn't as scrubby as I normally like my scrubs to be. So you can see it's pretty much more moisturizing. It's like a cleanser. And then the little exfoliating granules are not that exfoliating, but not Nonetheless, it's still a physical scrub and it works really well. Our skin feels pretty smooth afterward. So we do that in the shower and then we go in with the cleanser. So this is both in the shower. He's gonna do that in the shower. He'll come right back and show you what mask he uses. Forgot to mention before that I have a two-in-one cleanser and scrub at home and I will be giving that to him and taking the Garnier scrub for myself to go home because generally guys don't like to fuss around with too many products. I will link it in the description box if I can find it online. It's really hard to link things while I'm here but I'll try. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in his weekly treatment in with his evening routine because it's basically just adding those two products twice a week so as a bi-weekly treatment he uses the scrub and then a mask afterward. This is the mask that he's been using for a while now. This is by Freeman. I get this at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the Feeling Legendary Total Control Whiskey Rye Clay Mask. This even says for men. This is beard friendly and combats blackheads, oil, and large pores. You only leave this on for five minutes. During these bi-weekly treatment days, he also shaves. Why? Because exfoliating your face on shave days helps you to get an even closer shave. So you just want a thin layer because thin layers will dry faster. Doing a clay mask and exfoliating is really good for those who have acne prone skin. This guy's been breaking out a lot this time because I think it's just the amount of stress that he's under with his finals and stuff. So if you have acne prone skin, definitely consider using a clay mask twice a week. So after five minutes, he's gonna rinse this off. And during that time, I'm gonna put on loaf, which I do after every shower. I guess this video can also be about his body care routine. He uses one of these washcloths in the shower with a bar soap. We just realized that we have no more bar soaps. The one that he's using, he doesn't like. So I will insert a picture here of the bar soap that he really likes. He likes the Dove Beauty Bars because they don't leave him feeling sticky like the one that he's been using for, well, like a couple days now. I won't mention that one because it sucks. Oh, actually I will mention it because just in case you buy it, it's the one by Nivea. This is the body lotion that he's been using and he really liked this when he used this last year in the summer at my house. So we bought a big one right before we came here. This is the Aveeno Creamy Moisturizing Oil. It's amazing. It's non-greasy. It's so lightweight. It has that typical Aveeno smell, but it does linger on the skin a lot more than the original Aveeno one that everyone knows. This is with soothing oat and almond oil. So that's that's what gives it the creamy oil texture. And it actually feels kind of cooling, which is really weird, but that's really nice to use during the summer. It sinks into the skin really quickly and it does leave your skin feeling super soft and smooth. 
and he really likes this one because since it's so lightweight and creamy and oily but not oily it doesn't get caught in his hair I'm used to other ones I feel like it just lays in my legs like super sticky it just gets caught in the hairs and just doesn't absorb into the skin but into the hair it's been five minutes and you can tell when to take it off you can tell when to take it off if you do you can tell when to take this off when you do that and it's dry for the most part. You don't want to wait until your mask is completely dry like mine because then the mask takes away all the moisture from your face and obviously you don't want that. I forgot to mention that we put on a little bit of coconut oil all around our eyes right before we put on a mask because that's the only area of your face that you shouldn't put a face mask, like a clay mask on, which means that that's the only area on your face at that point that isn't moisturized. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use extra virgin olive oil. I will show you the oil that you can also use that is in his skincare routine that he actually puts on his face. Now that his face is dry, he's gonna go in with toner, not on the bi-weekly treatment days. He uses the Skin Manager by Alcina AHA Effect Tonic talked about this a million times. This is just a glycolic acid toner, it's AHA. If you have acne prone skin, this is really good to use every single day if you're not using any other treatments to help clear the pores and keep your skin really smooth. So on shaving days, which so happen to be on the bi-weekly treatment days, he uses Witch Hazel. This was the one by Dickinson's, it smells like ass. So I will link the Thayer's one in the description box as well because that one smells so much better and they both work exactly the same. Witch Hazel, if you didn't know, is an all natural product. It is is an astringent but it works really well for preventing ingrown hairs especially if you shave you can use this on anywhere in the body and also because it's an astringent it works really well against oil production if you are a more oily person normally i would do this myself but since i'm being a guest i treat myself to spa day i know i was just about to say that like i don't always do this for him because clearly i've had my mask on for way too long doing his stuff but it's a sacrifice and then he'll just finish off his skincare routine with this mix of rosehip seed oil and jojoba seed oil. This is the only oil mix that I ever talk about on my channel. I use this myself as well. This is 100% pure organic rosehip oil. I prefer rosehip seed oil. I think there is a difference, but I will link the one that I use in the description box if I can link it here. This is the Now Solutions jojoba oil. I bought this for him back at home and I left it with him so he can make his own mix here. I just put this in a travel bottle. We also also take this with us on our travels so he just warms it up in his hands just for a little bit just to disperse the product and have it go on easier and then he just pats what happens when you rub is you create premature wrinkles I don't know if guys really care about that stuff but I'm just saying the perfect ratio of rosehip seed oil to jojoba you want more jojoba oil because it's much thinner than rosehip seed oil that concludes his evening skincare routine on bi-weekly treatment days again the only thing that changes is the toner and the fact that he doesn't use the exfoliator and the mask. I will be talking about my favorite skincare ingredients in a future video, but just for your guys' sake, I like to use rosehip seed oil because I started using it years ago because along with another ingredient, I found that rosehip seed oil really helps to fade scars and it single-handedly, I'm pretty sure, filled in those crater bumps or crater marks or whatever, I forgot what you call them, that you get when you have super bad acne. Jojoba seed oil on the other hand is so good for all skin types because it's a lighter weight oil and it mimics our natural sebum that our skin creates so that oil and it helps to balance it out and help you to produce oil less so when you mix these two powerhouses together you get the perfect serum and moisturizer in one for his AM morning routine he has the same routine as I do where he uses the Garnier micellar cleansing water this is for normal Normal skin. This one is the green cap. This is for combination and sensitive skin. I just use this one even though I pretty much do have combination skin, but it doesn't matter. So he's gonna use half of a cotton pad. When I go back home, I will be purchasing reusable cotton pads. It was really nice that I put him on the same cleansing thing because we hate washing our face in the morning. It's a hassle. And I think if it gets you out of the door faster or out of the bathroom faster, why not? and it works. For toner, he uses the Skin Manager by Alcina AHA Effect Tonic. I have to pour it out on a cotton pad like this because there's so little of it left that it doesn't pump out from the top anymore. 
for moisturizer, he just uses the oil. After the moisturizer, he uses the same sunscreen as me. This is the Kula one. This is great for combination skin. Always want to wear a sunscreen in the daytime, especially when you're going out, especially maybe if you work next to a window or in front of a window. Anytime you have any sun exposure, you want to use one. It's also really important to use a sunscreen when you're using glycolic acid or any of those fighting ingredients because they make your skin more sensitive to the sun. If you're wondering why he uses a moisturizer before sunscreen, honestly I find that it works better. If I just use a sunscreen and skip my moisturizer, my skin's just gonna dry out. You want a nickel size. If you think you're putting on too much sunscreen, you probably aren't and it doesn't hurt to put on more because most of us don't put on enough. I just want to show you a close-up of his face because we used the mask yesterday. This is what his skin looks like the day after. He does have a lot of bumps still on his forehead, but again, I'm just gonna say that it's a lot of stress from finals and because we keep staying up late. But it looks smooth and is actually pretty clear on the cheeks. If you'd like to see more guy-oriented videos, you should let me know in the comments so I can write all those ideas down. Subscribe to see more videos from me. I do videos with him when I do travel videos. I do a lot of lifestyle. If you haven't watched it and you want to know who this guy is, I will link my Meet My Husband video in the description box or you can catch it in the end screen so you can watch it next.